Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and do you know how to be a role model? Uh, yeah, totally. I hear all the time, this celebrity is a good role model because, or this person used to be a good role model, but now she's gone crazy. And it's like, if you're in the public eye, then you're automatically a role model. But on the flip side, the only way you can be a role model is if you are some sort of celebrity, or you're already grown up and you have life figured out. But I don't think that's fair or true. I think that you can be a role model no matter your age or gender or celebrity status. I think it's about being confident in who you are and modeling that confidence and attitude for other people. I actually, attitude. <laughs> the hand. See? I've got attitude. Mm, no, wrong attitude. <sighs> okay, fine. Like, how do you be a role model for real then? Step one, live life authentically. Basically, be a genuine person. Don't talk nice to someone's face and then talk badly about them behind their back. Make sure that the person the world sees every day is the person you actually are. This is 110% natural. What you see is what you get. Temporary lip fillers, mm-hmm. It's temporary, so it's basically natural, duh. All right, all right, I'm not getting your logic here, but I, that's, that's not really important. At least you're honest about the lip fillers for now. Which brings us to step two, live life honestly. I try really hard to be super honest with you guys. I don't want to lie about what I'm going through in life, like dealing with depression and thoughts of suicide and feeling fat or ugly. I could though. I could pretend to be super happy all the time so that I would be making happy videos non-stop. But then I'd be lying and I would be giving you guys fake happiness. My life is perfect. Like I've never been depressed. All these people dealing with like mental illness need to just get a life and see the rainbows in the world. That is extremely insensitive. <laughs> what else? This is obviously a good time for step three, which is care about other people. Like genuinely care about them. What makes a really good role model that you feel like you can believe in is someone who actually cares about other people and you see them caring for those people. They aren't obsessed with their own image or how the world is perceiving them as a role model. They're probably not even thinking about whether or not they are a role model. They simply want to help other people live better. Basically, they want to live in a world that's more authentic, honest, and caring, and so they want to help the world get there by taking the leap first. Teaching by example. This seems really complicated. I don't know if I can do this. Which is why you have to have confidence, aka step five. Don't think about your age or if you're pretty enough or if you know enough or whether or not you're gonna mess everything up. How is that going to help? It's not. Be confident in who you are and what you're doing in life. Even when you feel like you don't actually know what you're doing in life. Because when you have that confidence, someone else is going to see that in you and they're going to like it and they're gonna wanna emulate it. Maybe it's your honesty or your authenticity, who knows? And it all makes for a better world. With role models, better than this. What? Are you insulting me? Like, that is so rude. And I am insulted and like really mad. OMG. So what do you think? How are you a role model in your everyday life? Tell me in the comments and remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. <laughs>